Congratulations. Hi, I'm over here. Thank you. <laughs> Karen Peterson with Awards Daily. Congratulations. How are you feeling right now? You just won an Academy Award. Yeah, we did. Yeah, um, it feels really quite odd. Um, I think I'm still processing it. Uh, it yeah, it's unbelievable, really. It's uh, you know, w w we were saying that um, <clears throat> if you could have seen a five-minute snapshot of our shoot, uh, the kind of chaotic, lo-fi nature of uh, uh, you know, of it all, on the cold streets of Leatherhead. Uh, quite underwhelming town in England. Uh, you, could, you can understand why it was a, a leap to imagine ourselves here um, today. So yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a mad one. It feels good, in conclusion. Yeah. Next up is 224, Follow, where's your number? Followed by 176. Here is um, and Anil, congratulations on your win. Uh, I'm Sunil from the New York Amsterdam News. Um, how important is it to tell immigrant stories that, um, you know, us South Asians, um, now we have, we're getting a platform, there's more visibility, and how important is it to tell these immigrant stories that, you know, they're different from other immigrant stories, we have our own struggles. So personally, how important, what, what's, what drives you to tell these stories? Um, I think it's really important to tell all kinds of stories, stories about joy, stories about suffering, and about all types of people. That's really the point of what we're doing here as storytellers. You know, story is a place where you can imagine yourself into someone else's experience and by doing that, it increases your empathy, it opens your heart and your mind, you know, broadens your horizons about who you can relate to and how we're all the same. So of course, in a time when lots of uh, migrants, refugees and immigrants are being so kind of dehumanized, I think it's really important to tell stories that change that. And what we've tried to do with our film is, yeah, show the challenges, the dangers of where we might be headed, but it's also to celebrate the joy and the community of the immigrant family at the heart of this story. So we hope to continue telling stories that, that complicate and um, elevate our experience on screen so that people can really empathize. All right, 176 followed by 219. Hi, um, I loved your film so much and voted for it in all kinds of different things. Um, Congratulations to you, and we know Riz from you know acting, and you've leapt ahead and gotten the Oscar we thought you would have, you would get eventually anyway. Uh, what do you think about how the movie's been embraced? Yeah, it's kind of blown our minds. We we uh, like I say, we we made it from a really personal place. It was an exercise in not being kind of strategic about how you develop an idea. It was an exercise about looking inward and kind of and kind of I guess like wrenching out what's deep inside there and what, what you feel like you need to make rather than what you think you should be making and it was it was uh, an incredible experience cathartic and liberating to do that um, challenging in its own ways um, but but none of us expected the the reaction it, it got, the, the way it touched the kind of uh, South Asian community was, was really moving. Um, and then it went on to win these kind of accolades and awards. It's just something we never expected. I mean, and to end up here is uh, insane, to be honest. All right. <laughs> 219 followed by 158. Uh, hi guys, uh, congratulations. Uh, I'm from Poland, so uh, actually I would love to ask you if you have seen uh, the others uh, nominees in your category, and if yes, I would love to hear your opinion about the Polish film The Dress. Yeah, I mean, it's a complete honor to be amongst the, the, the other four films. They're, they're beautiful, uh, eclectic films. I thought The Dress was really genuinely st stunning filmmaking. Um, uh, naturalistic and and uh, 
kind of beautiful uh, at the same time, really kind of personal and intimate, the exact kind of filmmaking I got, you know, aspired to, to in many ways with an unbelievable performance at the, at the, uh, at the center of it. Uh, I, yeah, I thought it was fantastic. 158 followed by 206. Hi, congratulations. Um, I'm not sure if you were able to catch the edited version of your acceptance speech, but Riz, they only featured you in that, and so I just wanted both of your thoughts on that. Um, well, I mean, Riz does s s speak uh, beautifully, and, and that's one of the reasons, uh, one of the many reasons I've enjoyed working with him so much. He, he's able to uh, articulate really complicated and abstract and challenging kind of emotions and feelings uh, into such beautiful kind of prose or poetry or, or words. Um, uh, I find that I find that amazing. Uh, you know, my I guess my preferred medium of communication is filmmaking. Uh, Riz Riz is really tremendous at talking. I, I love to listen to him, and they were beautiful words he said. So so you know, why not choose those ones? Um, but yeah, it certainly doesn't take away from uh, anything from this, this experience. We've, this is the culmination of an unbelievable ride. Uh, and uh, the, actually also the beginning of a, uh, a real friendship and, uh, you know, hopefully a long working relationship. So, yeah, it's a, it's a big win, basically. In, all right, 206, followed by our remote press room. Oh, hey. <laughs> we went to uni together. No way. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> um, that last question was actually what I wanted to ask, but I just didn't want to give up my uh, question because I wanted to say a huge congratulations. I'm so, so thrilled for you. Thanks. Good right. to see you. <laughs> All right, from our remote press room, Shorts TV, you're up. Stephanie from Shorts TV from the UK, congratulations um, on a beautiful, timely film, which I really hope our government <coughs> in the UK gets to watch and learn from. Could you tell us, obviously, why was short film the best uh, art form to combine your rap, uh, Riz, and then with your filmmaking skill, Annie? Sick. Could you repeat the, why is it, why was Could you repeat the, the question? For this combination of filmmaking and rap. Why, why was short film basically the best format to tell that story and combine the different art forms that you both work in? Yeah, I mean, uh, I, gr I, I grew up watching a, a mixture of everything, you know, t television, uh, commercials, uh, music videos, uh, films. Th uh, they kind of all, um, I marveled at all of those mediums in different ways. I mean, it's another story, but they felt far too abstract and far away for me to ever contemplate doing that as a, as a career. But um, I think this, this kind of me medium that we use, short film, uh, yeah, it's a good question. I'm not quite, you know, why was it perfect for it? I think it, it I don't, yeah, I'm not answering this very well. Um, it, it, you go. We didn't have enough money for a feature. <laughs> all right, we yeah. just, this is all the money we had. And that's why that's we made it yeah, yeah, yeah. this short. Yeah. That's good Thank answer. you. <laughs> All right, then our final question in the remote press room is from Variety. Hi, this is Adam Berry with Variety here. Um, thank, uh, just congratulations on your win. And I just wanted to, you know, you, you just addressed um, how uh, you felt the, the, your speech was delivered on air. I'm just wondering what your feelings are in general about the category being announced uh, not during the telecast. Look, I mean, obviously, ideally, everyone's speech, all the categories get an equal number of airtime, and, you know, there's no feeling that there's a hierarchy of awards. Um, there's a lot been, that's been said about that. I mean, you know, I, I agree with that, that point of view myself personally, but... For me, what's important is that that doesn't become the story and that ultimately we're here to celebrate filmmakers like Anil and the films that they've made. And it would be kind of weird if, you know, the story became, oh, 
how come we didn't get to celebrate these filmmakers enough by making that the story we're actually adding to the problem. So I think that the focus here is the amazing film that Anil's made, the amazing craft that's gone into all these categories, and um, yeah, this, this wonderful gift from our creative community in um, you know, taking these statues home.